Hello and welcome to today's One Day International match. A gorgeous summer's day here, the crowd all suitably dressed, ready for watching a day of cricket in the sun. With me in the commentary box is Tony Gregg. Let's hear Tony's views on the pitch. Well, thanks, Jonathan. This pitch is absolutely superb, an excellent cricket wicket. The groundsman's done a fine job, it's hard and fast, so the ball will come onto the bat nicely, but there's also plenty of bounce for the bowlers, with the ball carrying nicely through to the wee keeper at around about waist height. The wrist spinners should really enjoy bowling on it. The captains are out in the middle and are about to toss the coin. Looks like they'll be coming out to bat then. Oh, I'll have to wait and see if that was the right decision. There's a noisy crowd in today and they'll be hoping to see some really competitive cricket. Now it's up to the bowlers to see what they can do on this pitch. No run taken off that ball. Oh, well, that's a cracking shot. It's in the air, but there's nobody near it, and it'll go for four. Well, he rocked back beautifully there. His weight was just in the right place, and away it went for four. No runs off that delivery. Let's have a look at the action replay. The new man in can't afford any lapses in concentration here. The ball just runs out into the covers. He's conceded four off the over. The last few overs of the innings are vital, so the captain should save some of the best bowler's allocation until then. Well, that's a cracking shot. Beautifully timed. Edgy, but he's off the mark for the boundary. That won't please the bowler one bit. No run taken off that ball.
He's played that beautifully. That's cleared the infield, four runs. Oh, super shot. That was four runs as soon as he hit it. No runs off that delivery. No. That was a textbook shot. And a cracking shot, that one he looks in fantastic for. It's gone down, it really wasn't that difficult. You've got to feel so sorry for the bowlers in these circumstances. That over cost 15 runs. There's been a move away from using specialist wicket keepers, more emphasis placed on selecting batsmen who can keep as well. Do you think it's just a phase, or has a specialist glove man gone for good? There's always been debate about wicket keepers and who, in fact, should be selected in the top teams. I was lucky, and the England selectors picked Alan Knott, who turned out, as far as I'm concerned, to be one of the best wicket keepers ever. He also was very, very good with the bat and worked very hard at that. And that, I think, is what's more important than anything. There is no wee keeper that uh, should let rest on his laurels uh, and allow or accept that his batting is going to be secondary. Um, his batting should be every bit as important to him in the modern game as he's keeping. And I think that philosophy does apply these days, not only to wee keepers, it applies to fast bowlers and spinners as well. Everyone is trying to bat well. And they all know, and that's the wee keepers I'm talking about, that unless they can bat, their chances of maintaining the top spot aren't quite as good. That's nicely played. Launched for another six. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. He looks in great shape out there. They're appealing. Not out. <laughs> Just one there. The bowler concedes nine off the over. Medium pacer to start a new over. <laughs> He's got away with that. If the throw had been on target, he would have been struggling there. Wait up. No run scored.
He might have got a hand to that, but he couldn't stop it. He knew there wasn't a fielder out there, so it wasn't risky. Once it beats the fielder on this outfield, it races away. Beautifully played. That's cleared the infield. Four runs. He lifted that way over the infield really well. That's ten off the over. It's the spinner to bowl the final over then. Yes. That's one more onto the score. Quality timing there. Four. Oh, lovely timing. He played that beautifully. Yes. Straight at the fielder, and that's out. That was a fairly straightforward catch, but you still need to make sure of it. Let's look at that again. New batsman in, an absolute concentration required now. Great timing on the shot. Super shot again, he's got into a perfect position for that shot. Head over the ball, wait forward. Yes. A dolly. Let's have a look at that again. That brings the innings to a close. He's getting a polite round of applause as he makes his way to the pavilion.
What lessons have the bowlers learned about what this pitch is doing from their time at the crease? We shall soon find out. Immaculate timing. Well, you really can't give this player that kind of room outside the off stump. That's four every time. That was a cracking shot. He really got into position beautifully there. Lovely shot, right out of the meat of the bat. Well, the bowler looks most unimpressed with that. Oh, lovely timing, he played that beautifully. No ball. No ball. Very good timing. Oh, what can I say? He looks in top form today. He really struck that beautifully. Yeah. Batsmen are looking for two. That was good running by the batsman. What a beautiful stroke. The ball really races over this outfield. Poor bowling that, he really can't afford to bowl it in there. That's a disastrously expensive over. Do you think there's more variety in spin bowling now than there ever has been in the past? The variety in spin bowling these days is interesting. Um, certainly there's quite a bit of it. We've got Shane Warne on the one hand down in Australia. We've got Mathaya Murli Diran bowling absolutely brilliantly for Sri Lanka. And then there is uh, the next crop of spinners and there are quite a lot of those too. Guys like Victoria in New Zealand and uh, of course plenty of others around the world. Not quite as good as the first two that I mentioned. Um, I'm not too sure that there's more variety in spin. I can remember playing against an Indian team that had four spinners and absolutely no fast bowlers. So certainly in years gone in uh, places like India and Pakistan, there were lots and lots of spinners. But at the moment, we certainly have got some great spinners around and it is very, very good for the game. So the run rate stands at just under five and over. The captain shouldn't really use up all his best bowlers overs at such an early stage of the innings. Dot ball. Great stroke play. Well, the bowler looks most unimpressed with that. That had four runs written all over it from the moment it left his bat. The Out! Caught him! Let's take another look at that in replay.
The new man in can't afford any lapses in concentration here. 12 off the over. Scoring really quickly at the moment. Edge to slip. Nasty, really nasty. The bowler's really up for this, isn't he? Well, let's see if that affects his concentration. It's in the air. Out, caught. Oh dear, he won't want to see that replay. Let's have a look at the action replay. Absolute concentration required from the new man in. This could be close, and he's got away with it. A better throw, and it could have been interesting. No run taken off that ball. Only two from the over then. Batsman coming back for a second. Impressive strike rate in this knock. Brilliant timing. He's taken the aerial route and been rewarded with four. That's when they're coming back for two. This really is impressive scoring now. Yeah. He might have got a hand to that, but he couldn't stop it.
Beautifully played. Yes! He found the gap with precision. Well, if you want to show the kids the perfect way to play that shot, there's a fine example. That's it, it's all over. That was a really entertaining one-day match. Congratulations to the winning team.